In this video, we are going to talk about Udemy Learning Path for Job Skillshare courses and why we have created this one page solution. We have over 40,000 students, almost 50,000. If we add the business Udemy students, it's more than 50,000 at this point. We have multiple courses available on Udemy and we are adding more and more and more. But most of our courses are in sequence because a lot of people uh, ask us questions like, how do I become an IT support professional? So then they have to take our courses in sequence to be able to complete that uh, specific role. And then, of course, uh, uh, just a little history for someone who is new to our platform. We basically give all of our courses, features, labs, and everything in our membership access. So once you become a light member or a premium member, you get access to all courses. If you have light membership, you get access to a uh, limited a sandbox type of lab and then as a premium member you have access to almost everything all premium labs which is a very huge access basically so well not everybody uh, can afford to pay every single month uh, and they may want to just specifically access one of our course that they like and then they think it's gonna benefit them in their career so this is why we choose to add our courses on udemy at a single course uh, uh, type of uh, approach we give a lot of coupons, almost a thousand coupons when we release a, a course. Uh, and sometimes for the, the the entry level courses, we give coupons almost every month. So this is the reason we have a lot of people on Udemy for this specific need of single course access. So this learning path will help you if you are basically focusing on our Udemy courses and you have a goal. So let's say you want to start IT support career, then you will click on IT support. You will learn about what this is going to cover. And on the left side is going to be your first course. So as you can see, it's a learning path process. It's a sequence. So if you start with this course, it's going to be a lot of information that's going to save you tons of time uh, doing the research, asking questions, some of the internal information that we know now for past 20 years working in technology and so many different companies. So this information you're going to get over here is something reality and fact, basically. And that's where you approach towards your learning. So the next thing is if you want to get started technically, then you're going to go into the beginner course, which you're going to finish. And then you're going to go to a more technical course, which is IT Support Technical Skills Bootcamp. It's a part of our business course as well on Udemy. And then if you want to go beyond that, then you will take this course. So this is the path that that basically will prepare you for the IT support roles such as help desk, desktop support, anything you name it, anything under systems administration or network engineering and they are support level, then this is going to be taking care of that. If you want to move up out of support and moving into more network and systems administration, then you will click here, read this, and then you will take the network and systems administration course skills. Now, it's, here's an important uh, 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 tip over here that this is a course that you will need regardless of moving up to any career, meaning you can go into cybersecurity, AWS, DevOps, whichever you like. This is going to be that core level skills that if you want to become an advanced engineer, you need to know this. Whether you do it from us or somebody else or YouTube or anything, whatever it is, that's your option. But these information that right here, DHCP, DNS, IP, all that kind of stuff is core level skills. And without knowledge of this, you're going to have tough time going to a very advanced level jobs. Most likely, you won't be able to do that. Very few people that are extremely God gifted, then they can do it. But naturally, most of the people come back to us. Even if they have cybersecurity roles, they come back to us for training. Companies send their employees to us for training. Why are they doing that? Because they don't have that core level skills. So this is something that you should take after that if you want to get into more networking and systems administration a little bit more deeper and maybe you will cover more server, Cisco and a little more deeper way, you probably would spend more time in this course. That's if you want to go for that side of jobs like junior sysadmin, junior network admin. And of course, if you add Linux with it, that just adds uh, on top of that. Now, if you want to go to cybersecurity, as I mentioned before, that if you want to go to cybersecurity, you really need to come over here first and finish this course. This is your core. Even in cybersecurity, we have network fundamentals for, for cybersecurity. So if you have done these type of courses, you don't need to actually take this course. You can skip it. But if you feel like you want to just kind of go over some summaries and just kind of quickly go over things, then you can take this course. If you don't have any 
background knowledge in IT support and network support. I do not recommend cybersecurity first. But let's say you have that mindset that no, somebody did it without these two and I can do it too. Then of course you can just finish this course and just uh, be ready for a little bit of stress. And if you can take it, I know you can then manage that on your side. We are going to release more practical courses in cybersecurity. This is due in a few days. This is a great course. If you want to get a little more technical than just basics of network fundamentals for cybersecurity, then this is going to touch the basics there. But before this, like I mentioned, you really need to take like Linux basics, which is available in this section all the way to the bottom. You should take that because imagine if you're going to cybersecurity course and just jumping into Linux and trying to go into, let's say, some other uh, servers or devices, then it's going to be frustrating. And that's what we mentioned in this course too, that you should be taking all of these things that we mentioned. That's the reason why we're forcing this to to for people to go over this, specifically this, uh, to, to cover that everything that you are going to come across. And then if you're going to go for cybersecurity, then you should also, Linux Essentials should be there before you jump into cybersecurity. If you want to go to AWS, again, that requirement is, is still there. Like you really can't do any networking or any type of advanced things inside AWS if you don't really know the basics, rule and law of just networks. And that's exactly you're going to come across in all of these type of learning. So if you want to, after that, if you will jump to AWS, you can just do that and start with the fundamental course, advanced course. And now we are working on DevOps. At the end of the day, I'm going to say that there's no match uh, for our Udemy courses, learning path with our jo job skills share type of services like membership or coaching services. There's absolutely no match because we have 10,000 plus videos. We have 15,000 plus exercises. So, of course, when it comes to hands-on approach, JSS is the, the main player in this area right now. But if you feel like Udemy is the way you learn and you can do everything by yourself, you can take that stress. This is really a classic or uh, I would say old school ways. People have been doing it for years and you can do it that way too. Uh, you can still utilize our teachings on Udemy. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section and uh, let us know what do you think about this learning path and should we continue to uh, do uh, more in U Udemy.